I have been thinking to make this video far uh, a while already, but uh, I hesitated because I thought uh, it's going to be useless. Why on earth would you want to know how I start my day or my morning routine? But since uh, I was in a college, I have been trying to come up with the perfect morning routine and a daily plan for the maximum productivity. I don't claim to be uh, hyper productive, but I think this uh, video might give you an idea on how to start your mornings and structures your day a bit more effectively. I wake up usually around 7 a.m. Am. and uh, that's the most important part because if I sleep uh, for another hour or two I might ruin my entire day so regardless if it's Monday or Sunday my alarm uh, rings at 7 a.m. after the usual stuff uh, here comes uh, the most important meal of my day in breakfast the first things uh, I do when I get to my kitchen I drink two cups of the water uh, not one but two because for the least seven hours uh, I have been dehydrated and if I want uh, my brain to function properly I need to make sure that I am completely hydrated. You literally can make yourself much more productive uh, just by the starting your day with at least two or three cups of water. And uh, then I grab the fruit, usually a banana or the orange. I prefer to have the light breakfast because uh, I am the preparing myself to be productive. So whatever I eat is going to impact my mood, energy and effective efficiency. A uh, good breakfast isn't enough alone, so I usually exercise for 5 to 10 minutes on my uh, get to, to my get myself uh, to the more a bit more active. And uh, by 8 am I am ready to work. Uh, the next three hours are going to be the most important hours of my day because I have had enough sleep and it's uh, the only time that I can work at my full uh, capacity. This is when I do creative work, so whatever I need to work on the some uh, projects uh, or come up with an idea for the next videos or write a script if I'm in the middle of the uh, taking an important decision. So this is when the brainstorms about it. You can only be hyper hyper productive for a few hours and a day, and that's why I make sure that I don't get distracted at all for the next three hours. I don't reply to the calls or emails. I don't uh, even check my phone because I know that once I pick up it, it might get stuck there. I usually accomplish 60 to 70 percent of my to-do lists within this period. It's really difficult to stay concentrated for three hours, but if you do it after you have enough sweeps and have breakfast it gets much easier and make sure to uh, you that uh, have been bottle of the water right beside you so uh, what you keeps yourself hydrated after three hours of the deep work uh, you are going to feel so tired that you won't be able to do anything else but at the same time it's going to give you the feeling of the fulfillment it's uh, not uh, afternoon yet uh, and uh, you have accomplished so much already. Uh, that sense of accomplishment usually drives me to stay productive for the rest of the day. Uh, I take uh, a 30 to 40 minutes break uh, where I usually grab the snacks and watch something or juice uh, or just go for a walk uh, to give my brain a chance to relax. Uh, half on our break, uh, it's enough after three hours of focus works, but I need to get back to work. I know that I can't do it for another three hours, so I just work for an hour and a half at best. Uh, I try to avoid morning meetings because they often last longer than the plan, so you lose valuable time in the morning where you could be uh, doing good deep work. So I propose all of my meetings to afternoons and evenings. The rest of my day usually is isn't properly planned because circumstances change. It might have to travel somewhere where I get stuck in the traffic or have to an expected meeting, whatever. But I don't do anything that requires on the ex extreme levels of concentration because I get them done in the morning. I wanted to make this video a bit longer and talk about uh, I spend the rest of my days, but I think it's too long uh, already. But let me know if you find uh, it interesting. Uh, it might I might do another video on that. Uh, always thanks for watching, and I see you in the next one.